Hello and welcome back in Achievement Guide for this time around Family Battler in BFA content. So today I'll show you how to do Fun with Flying, which is achievement that requires 15 Master Tamers in Cool Tiras and Zandalar with a team of level 25 flying. What can I say about this achievement and basically BFA content? Shadowlands content was more scripted. BFA content is more like guideline I can give you from tactics because pets act freely. They have abilities and they use it how they want to. And Shadowlands is, is pretty much script. I know he gonna use it this, so I counter this and this. Here, I show you pets, what I use, I show you how I did it, I show you pretty much guide. But, pretty much is not always the, you know, one-to-one -one correct guide I, you, you'll have. Because pets act like they want to. I did them all, besides Fizzy Spark Whistle. Fizzy Spark Whistle have three elemental pets and I couldn't counter it. They did a lot of damage, so I decided not bother. Again, you need 15 and not 19. Uh, what you should actually skip is Liana Darkwind. She's hard, she's annoying, she's RNG Fiesta. I show you how to do it, because I did it, but I struggle a lot and I suggest you, you just leave it. That gives you still enough tamers to defeat. Most of them were pretty easy. As always, I didn't use any pet from achievement, from store or very difficult content. Some quests, some like dire big hatchling is a MVP almost here, so you need to have this. I mean, this achievement is pretty much hardcore. Well, dungeons is hardcore, hardcore, but this is still difficult. If you don't have correct pets, you might have prob problems, seriously. Mm. I read some comments under the videos I made for Shadowlands, and there was someone who complained that its guide is crap because uh, I wanted, I showed the pet that he didn't have and oh, to be honest, pet from supplies isn't difficult to get, so keep that in mind. Those pets are easy to get. If you can't buy at an auction house, it's easy to get pet. No matter if it costs 40,000 to 2,000, it's easy to get pet. Money isn't a difficult thing to get. So I count it as easy. Of course, if we count pet like TBC, I wouldn't ever put it like the TCG, I mean. I wouldn't put that pet into a guide at all because it's very rare and difficult to get because it's a yeah, limited supply and price is ridiculous. I, I'm not gonna show you guides with the pets like Francois, Francis, whatever, the bird for 100k gold. Uh, he's not that good and I, I would rather look for the replacement. But definitely Iki, King of the Kings. What I use also, Stormwing is a pet I use for beasts. Courage is wonderful to strike the creatures. Get Courage, he's great. He's not easy, uh, he's not hard to get. Seriously, he is not hard to get, so don't tell me he's hard. You need five people in Bastion, they all have to click at the same time uh, mini uh, the, the critters and courage show up. You go for it, click it, that's it. It's one of the easiest to get. I'm still selling them for 50,000. You can get one per character, by the way, so don't bother. If you wanna, uh, want to spam it, I tried. But I have many else, so 50,000 per one is good. So yeah. Uh, Stormwing is very good. What else did I use? Firewing and the other, the other fire. These I have so many pets. Yeah, Stormwing have cold lightning, so it's very good against beasts. 
water fly is nice, wild etherworm is very good against flying, also sentinel's companion. Uh, Firewing and Blazing Firehawk, yeah, those two. They're very good against elementals and uh, mechanicals, but not only. Uh, so yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Not gonna talk much. Mm, enjoy your your achievement and yeah, go for it. It's pretty fun to do it. For Karaga. I uh, use Stormwing with Alpha Strike, perhaps, probably not. The first, nah. Call Lightning and Flock, Sentinel's Companion with Dark Talon, Soul Rush, Moonfire, and as a backup, Wild Letter Worm with Blink Strike, Arcane Storm, and Surge of Power. Yeah, someone to clean up if something goes wrong. Start with Call Lightning. Next, clock. Okay, now go for, yeah, flock continues. We don't want to play with swapping, just let him die. So flock again if it's possible, yes. Okay. Sentinel's companion comes in. And should be enough, yes, it's enough. If not, go for Moonfire. But if you see number like this with the buff, go for Soul Rush and just finish him. Okay. Now, third pet comes in, which is Skeeto. And Moonfire. And just bump Dark Talon until you kill him. Which should be about now. Yeah, third pet, optional, backup, doesn't matter. Remember, all have to beat level 25. Zujal. I used Sandy Patri Petrel with Trash. Cyclone and Liftoff, Sentinel's Companion with Dark Talon, Soul Rush, Moonfire, and Dire Big Hatchling with Felkazar Swarm, Iron Skin, and Predatory Strike. Hello, man. Stay safe out there. Start with Liftoff. Next, Cyclone. And trash. Trash again. Some RNG can happen because yeah, one to one or two tries uh, hits always mess. Because sometimes I use lift off on the first pet because it ran out of the cooldown and and I'm still there. Sometimes I'm here like this and just need to use trash on bird that just crit me. So try to use lift off if you won't die. Kapow. Would be nice to use uh, one more cyclone, but as you can see, crit. Crit did it to me. Crit. So Sentinels comes in and as always Moonfire.
and Dark Talon. Then use Cell Rush. And Dark Talon. Ah, he's up. And Moonfire or Dark Talon, just finish him off. As you can see, her pet was a backup, most likely. Nah, depends on the numbers. Numbers matters a lot, but fight is easy. The first pet is problematic because it can blind you, so you need to work it out. That's it. Talia Spark Bro. Courage with Bite, Perk Up Pro, Stormwing with Alpha Strike, Call Lightning Flock, and Sentinel's Companion Dark Talon, Soul Rush Moonfire. It's pretty much trend in Zoldazar to use one of three here. So start with Pro. And Bite. Finish him off with Bite. Swap to Stormwing. And call Lightning. Ah. Okay. Crit doesn't happen that uh, often, but when it does, it kill him. So just use Flock. It's all, all about applying debuff. Okay, Stormwing did a job. Now we bring Sentinel's companion. Go for Moonfire to change the weather. And Soul Rush to finish him off. Ta da! Jesus, it's so easy, it's embarrassing. Really. <laughs> Corwell Darkbeard. For him, I use Sentinel's Companion with Dark Talon, Soul Rush, Moonfire, Courage with Bite, Perk Up, Prowl, and Wild Ether Worm with Blink Strike, Arcane Storm, and Surge of Power. This fight is 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 easy. Is I I don't feel like most of the fights uh, are difficult so far, at least with flying. There's, but feathers is weird. He can use one of the three abilities randomly. It doesn't happen often, I guess the script messed up. Someone who was responsible for it messed up, or it was supposed to be. So sometimes you go lift off, sometimes quill, sometimes nocturnal strike. And nocturnal strike is 50% hit chance. It may happen, it may not. If it happened, that means. RNG hates you that day. Okay, we start with Moonfire no matter what. Dark Talon, yeah, he lift off. He's faster than us, so Dark Talon again. And Soul Rush. He's, ah, he's still faster. Okay, now we're gonna die, so just use Moonfire. I did not die, how about that? Okay. If, if you're not gonna die, then just swap manually to Courage. Use Prowl. And bite. Uh, 
her cup. And swap the wild leather worm. Arcane storm. And surge of power. Done. Wild Ether Worm is a Chrominous version of uh, from flying that kills flying pets with surge of power. Oh yes, you should get him in Bastion. Grady Pret. For Mr. Grady, I used Stormwind. With Quills, Cold Lightning, Flock, Poro with Scratch, Preen, Slow and Steady, and Mechanical Axe Pick with Peck, Highwire, Decoy. New doorways have opened to us. Cold Lightning at the start. Uh, okay. Crit, if crit doesn't happen, you just go for quills. But since crit, kill him, no difference at all in strat. Uh, Scars comes in, we use flock. Flock should kill him, but it may happen, may not. Depends on a little bit RNG, so... In a few tries, I solo uh, two pets with Stormwind. And few tries, I did not, so I brought Poro and just finished him off with Scratch. So, no biggie. Again, no problem. See, now it's gonna kill him. All about RNG, the Bone Barrage. But my tactic included uh, both ways, so... You just bring Poro and it's fine. Now I'll just bring him. I suppose to heal it this time around. But I'll just do it. I wanna just show you what would I do. Okay. He would die. I would heal this and then go for slow and steady. But now we're gonna heal. And go for slow and steady this time. Should do him like thousand. Not even close. Scratch. Yeah, I I should not like bring Poro over X Peak, whatever, but I'm just showing you the common scenario. And this high wire. Common scenario is that Stormwing doesn't kill the two pets. But if it does, it's, it's brilliant. If not, it's no problem. You can uh, easily manipulate those those pets here, uh, Poro and Mechanical Arctic, because you have to finish one pet. It's, it's straightforward. So yeah, he wasn't a challenge at all. Lozu. Oh, Lozu, I use Iki with Savage Talon, Black Claw, Flock, Sentinel's Companion with Dark Talon, Solar Rush, Moonfire, and Wild Ether Worm with Blink Strike, Arcane Storm, and Surge of Power. Most likely, Iki won't do anything here. Oh no, he gonna actually kill the frog. Wait, that's the, yeah. So we start with Black Claw and Flock. You need to kill frog. This second one gonna kill him, yeah. It's 2 a.m. so I'm a little bit tired. No, it's it's actually one o'clock. Oh. Okay, we got swept. So now we use Moonfire. And Soul Rush. Easy. 
Uh, Ticker comes in, we spawn Dark Talon. Cocoon, of course. And Moonfire, if, if we're lucky, we can use it, yes. Now we're gonna die? No, we're not. We're gonna kill him with Dark Talon. Wild Ether Worm is a backup. As you can see, eh, that was super easy. Super easy. I love it. Quint. Quint was surprisingly easy. Oh my god, that was ridiculously easy. For him, I used Stormwing with Alpha Strike, Cold Lightning, Flock, Icky with Savage Talon, Black Claw, Flock, and Mechanical Axe Peak as a backup with Peck, Haywire, Decoy. I was surprised how easy it was. Start with Cold Lightning. And Flock. First is down, now we're gonna have Bruce, which is aquatic, lucky for us, because he's gonna take more damage. He's faster than us, so no point using Alpha Strike. Oh, come on, stun. Yeah, he does stun from time to time. Now we can use Flock again. Yeah, stun was unfortunate, but doesn't matter. Savage Talon, since it it has buff. Oh my god. Yeah, but in case we got hit, just deal with it again. Next one comes in, just apply Black Claw. Oh, and Flock. I mean, they use abilities that I did, oh, they didn't use it before, so it's weird, but that's why we have backup, Haywire. Easy no matter what. But my first few tries were just steamroll. Not sure what happened here, probably nothing important. That's it. For Telia Hanako, it's, it's very, very simple. I mean, all I do is use Dire Big Hatchling, but yeah, I, I got them all, because you need to have three pets, so Dire Big Hatchling with Falcosaur Swarm, Iron Skin, and Predatory Strike, and two other slots put anything that deals with Aquatic. just in case, but shouldn't be a problem. Start with Iron Skin and go for Felkazar Swarm. Predatory Strike. And Felkazar Swarm. I just discovered it when I was doing it for at the start with pet charms I was wonder what should I use to counter I started with Icky but then I found this one with iron skin which we're gonna use now iron skin and swarm again and I was like oh my god I can solo entire team great so I did and it's awesome. It's like free win, absolutely. <laughs> okay, uh, all the blue comes in. We use swarm again.
and predatory strike. Done. That's entire wall quest and entire fight. One pet to kill them all. Mr. Burley. Oh yes. For him I use Poro with Scratch, Preen, Slow and Steady, Violet and Firefly, Scratch, Blowing Toxin, Confusing Sting, and Icky, Savage Talon, Black Cloth Lock. Uh, scratch. Sorry, it's it's late. It's 4 a.m. Now Prin and slow and steady. Now pass. And Prin. Scratch. Scratch again. And scratch again. But we won't survive this, sadly. Okay, so a Violet Firefly comes in. And we scratch. But he did avoid it, sadly. Now we use Glowing Toxin. Confusing Sting. I'm not sure if it's worth it, but... And just scratch. Throwing Toxin again, and he should, yes, he should detonate himself. And he did. Now just scratch. Oh, I have uh, Breed, Health and Speed. It has to be faster than him, 292. Okay, uh, we killed Pokey. Now he's just gonna do his stuff, whatever, and done. Painless, really. Creepy cultist infected by void. Uh, Ellie Vern. For her, Oro, Scratch, Preen, Slow and Steady, Icky. With his classic, classic setup, Savage Talon, Black Cloth Lock, and Blazing Firehawk with Deep Burn, Scorch Earth, Cauterize. Not sure about the third one, but it's it's at least something against magic pets. Okay, we start with Slow and Steady. Now Scratch. And scratch. Yes. Now we can heal with Preen. Or not. Yeah. Okay. Since he swapped us, then we go for Scorch Earth. And just deep burn. Okay, I was wrong. It's good. It's very good. Deep burn. I should heal, right? Mm. Too late. 
Yeah. Bring AK. Yeah, so as you can see, RNG a little bit. Because swap. I rarely see that swap. I rarely do, but overall it's it's it was swap gooped so i could use cortorize and burn and icky can solo one of them so how do people say in internet gg with edit fix it it's weird because nightmare weaver randomly toss his abilities without order it's just chaos I see the BFA fights were not scripted so much as uh, Shadowlands. So I went for Firewing with Deep Burn, Scorch Earth and Healing Flame and Blazing Firehawk with Deep Burn, Scorch Earth and Cauterize and Orphaned Felbat with Fell Immolate, Black Claw and Rain Blood. It's weird because tactic with birds with flying pets is losing consistency because different abilities use it in their different time okay we started with scorch earth now burn deep burn okay because we got terrified so our damage and his damage is reduced we can heal but it's not gonna happen over and over like yeah his damage is reduced 300 something, yeah, okay. Okay, go for deep burn. And deep burn again, and... Hmm. And we're dead, so we just scorch earth. Like I said, use it... Like multi-stab, use it two times in a row, for instance. Or something else, like there is no consistency in the tactic, so use those pets and adapt. They have strong abilities, so just deep burn. Adapt. Keep up weather, whenever you can heal, it's optimal to heal and heal and uh, and spam deep burn and you should get them you need to focus on two pets third one die itself it just kill itself it does some damage but it's healable okay spam deep burn now we can heal a little bit just to stay up because he's gonna do the, the, that AoE a little bit long, uh, more. And deep burn again. We have four turns. Okay, deep burn again. And deep burn again. And we're fine. So, yeah. It's more like a guideline than, than actually guide. Now, whenever Felbat comes, uh, comes in, use Drain Blood. See? He just killed himself. And we didn't die. So yeah, it's more like a guideline. Use Deep Burn. Uh, because pets, opposing pets, doesn't act consistent. They, they randomly toss abilities. So you need to adapt to the situation. Pet, I, I showed. I showed you, are good enough. They're, they're good enough and you can just burn it. It's not elemental that you can just, yeah, stun it or do whatever. It's I, Whenever I do this fight with the snowman, it's, it's easy. It's always consistent because I cause stun, so I cause them to act the same over and over again. Here, without stun, without like disturbance, there's pure chaos. So you need to dive into chaos and adapt. Ta-da! There it is. Fight spiked with RNG. 
Liana Darkwind. I mean, so many scenarios happen here. I fight it here like 55 times and I won half of it. But never had the same scenario over and over because so much RNG. So for this fight, I use Water Chick, which is breed speed and balance you could go for speed and speed and speed and power yeah peck preen pump fall feather would breed speed speed there's only three of them so it's easier to find them but seriously oh man yeah you need you need to be fast because the last one the mind warper is an asshole Seriously, he's an asshole and he gonna hunt you down. You need to be faster than him. So full feather with pick, black cloth lock, and blazing fire hawk with deep burn, scorch earth, call to rise. Wait, uh, do I have? Yeah, uh, I want power power. We need a power power because speed doesn't matter since we want to reach the proper proper cap. So yeah, let's go. This is so much RNG. I'll show you in a sec. Okay, start with pump. And I'm not counting crits. It's just mechanic weird. Heck. Okay, he did not heal or did any other stuff okay. because he tend to heal here to full so we need to hit him twice and he drops us low. Now because he hit us once we can pump and he gonna die. Go for peck. And that void cyclone messing around so much. Ah, its counter are so heavy. Okay. Preen. So there was twice peck. Preen. Peck. And we got crit in the ass, obviously. It was doable, really, that was doable. Ah, uh, I guess. Okay, go for peck. Don't hit me, tornado. Okay. Black claw. Oh, this asshole also stuns. Go for fall, flock. He stuns. He uh, reduces healing. He's doing so many bad things. It's just incredible. And I'm not guarantee I'm gonna do it in time. Like I, I mean, I'm not gonna reach it. Uh, so yeah, I, I should heal. So I healed Scorch Earth and Deep Burn, and count this as a lucky one so yeah as you can see you should skip it seriously you you should skip her but if you have those pets it's doable i mean you can try many different strategies but you need fast pet in the middle to do some damage to the mind warper it's very difficult for flying pets because he he's direct counter but yeah i did it you can try it, but you can also skip. Urkusa. I hope that's how you pronounce it. I went for Courage with Bite, Perk Up, Prowl, Dusky Dreadwing Pup with Bite, Huge Fang, Wind Buffet, which I'm not gonna use it, and Dire Big Hatchling with Alcazar Swarm, Iron Scare, a Skin, and Predatory Strike. Be quick. Be 
start with prowl and bite bite again and bite again now use perk up bite and bite prowl and bite and bite again hmm okay I was supposed to use other pets as well but as you can see courage can do it alone and if not you have a dusky dreadwing pup as a backup it's so easy courage is so good against critters he's so good it's easy to get him as well remember Sizik is a funny guy I like snakes yeah for him, I used the Dreadwing, Dusky Dreadwing Pup with Bite, Huge Fang, Wind Buffet. Breed doesn't matter. Courage, Bite, Perk Up, Prowl, and Sentinel's Companion with Dark Talon, Soul Rush, Moonfire. Are you here to help? Doesn't matter what you press, you're gonna get swept. Uh, Sentinel's comes in, use Moonfire. And Soul Rush. Squirt comes in, so we swap the Courage. He goes under the ground. Under the ground, use Prowl and Bite. Bite again. and perk up and bite to finish him off you may get more damage important is to use after he goes up one ah uh, never mind i'm just just gonna mess you up so do as a, as i did now bite he gonna uh, use bubble so we need to break through the two attacks one uh, to spam a uh, bite and two now use prowl perk up because we need that health back and bite and bite to finish him off. Ta-da! Three pets up. No problem. For Kyo, I use Dire Big Hatchling with Falcazar Swarm, Iron Skin and Predatory Strike, Stormwing with Alpha Strike, Call Lightning and Flock, and courage with bite, perk up, prowl. Do you have any news? Depends on which pet dire big hatchling die, then you bring counter to them. Start with iron skin. Next, go for Felkazar Swarm. Predatory Strike. 
crit, always crit. And then Falcons are swarm again. Iron skin. Pass. Falcons are swarm. And predatory strike. Falcons are swarm because 40 HP. Ah, unlucky. We die, and because Tikka died with uh, Dire Big Hatchling, we didn't need Stormwing, so bring Courage. Because we need a counter for specific uh, type pet. Prowl. Bite. And bite. Easy. Courage is incredibly strong. Dilbert Macklind. For him, I use Icky with Savage Talon Black Love Lock, Stormwing with Cold Lightning Flock, and Dire Big Hatchling with Falkazar Swarm Iron Skin Predatory Strike. When I do it as a world quest, I bring two Ickys and just. and do it. Okay, because he went underground, we go pass and flock. Yeah. Every time there is weird scenarios, so... Oh, look at this. We got blind, but only on first hit. Second two hit it. But yeah, uh, different scenarios, different things happen. You need to just add to account and deal with it. Same story, Black Claw. The flock. Yeah, one icky sometimes almost solo it, sometimes he does not. Black Claw if you can. Bring Stormwing. Call Lightning. And flock. That's it. Surprisingly easy. Mr. Michael Skarn is, is a weird trainer, because we need to survive 11 turns and pet kill themselves. They're dealing some damage to us, but it's meaningless so all we have to do is survive our damage doesn't matter at all so what i brought is waterfly with healing stream and dodge mechanical axe beak with decoy and dire big hatching with iron skin yeah, pretty much that's only abilities I'm gonna use. So I start with dodge. And pass. Pass. And gonna heal. Yeah, I... Pass twice, then healed. Now I'm gonna pass. And dodge. 
Pass again. And heal. Pass. And pass. Now dodge. Oh, we died. Yeah, that's the suicide uh, start. So now bring Axpick if you die and just decoy. He kill himself and pass again and he kills himself. As you can see, I did not care. It was all about, it was mostly I pass because yeah, just dodge, heal, survive, and that's it. <laughs> that's the tactic for Michael Scorn as a flying pet. Easy. Captain Hermes is fun. Why? Because he's easy. For Captain Hermes, I brought Dire Big Hatchling with Felkozar Swarm, Iron Skin, Predatory Strike. And to be honest, that should be it. But as a backup, I have Sandy Petrel with Slicing Wind, Cyclone and Liftoff, and Eki with Black Claws Flock. I mean backup. It might need it a little bit more from other pet, but mostly it's no problem. Important, keep Iron Skin up. So I, uh, I start with Iron Skin, go for Felkazar Swarm. Next, Predatory Strike. We finish him off. We got some hit. Too bad. Felkazar Swarm again. Iron Skin and Swarm again. Swarm. And predatory strike if we're lucky we weren't lucky then all we have to do is lift off oh 10 HP how about that yeah so lift off usually finish him off but if not just use whatever So that's the tactic. Dire Big Hatchling solos almost this world quest. And if you're lucky, I mean this trainer, if you're lucky with a little bit push like a crit, you're gonna solo it. So yeah, Dire Big Hatchling and any other flying pet that deals aquatic. That's that's combo you need. That's it. Just want to thank you for watching. I hope you like what I did and if you did please subscribe to my channel you help me a lot and check my other guides it's not only wow I'm playing here but uh, guides I made are clearly for wow so check the other guides for pets and take care bye bye